today on Blind Date. I have any hair? Oh, look at that. A straight guy with a queer eye. What do you think about this metrosexual thing? And she's got big plans for him. Facials, waxing, pedicures, manicures, breast implants, <laughs> liposuction. Yes. Plus, I was born and raised in France. It's love Parisian style. Why is it called a French kiss? <laughs> it all begins now. Whatever. On Blind Date. Showtime, everybody. I'm Roger Lodge, and for the next 30 minutes, I'll be your humble host as we attempt to find happiness for four lonely singles. Let's get to it. So let's kick things off with Tracy and Steve. Now, Tracy's a school teacher who says her perfect man has good looks and half a brain. Boy, did she come to the right show. Her date Steve's a student pilot from France, and he'll be glad to tell you why he moved to America. I like the American girls, you know, they're fun. They're a little bit more playful sometimes than the French girls. I'm not the sassy girl next door. I'm the humble, let's get to know each other girl next door. As far as work goes, I am flying now, so I'm trying to become a pilot. I like good looking guys that are nice. I like somebody who has like some manners, some style, you know, that knows how to carry yourself and act whenever, whenever you're out. I'm a hopeless romantic. Well, how about that? She's romantic and he's French. Are we in our game today or what, people? How are you doing? Good, Stay. how are you? Tracy. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's your little flower. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so thoughtful. You are. How are you doing today? Good. Doing all right? Yeah. Tracy, hey, so you're here from uh, Los Angeles? I'm from here? Long Beach. Long Beach, yeah. all right. So well, I'm going to school there. I'm not from there. Uh-huh. Where are you from originally? Um, San Jose. San Jose. North. North. Mm -hmm. All right. Where are you from? I'm from San Diego. I live there now. Oh, really? Yeah. Were you born and raised there? No. I was born and raised in France. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I've been here a couple years, by like six, seven years. Seven years? In the States, yeah. Uh, what, what are you taking? What class are you taking over there? What class am I taking right now? I'm taking, let's see, uh, educational psychology uh -huh. for children. I'm taking geometry for children, like for elementary school teachers. So you speak French? Yes, sir. Je parle français. <laughs> like, kind of drop some French words down here. Uh, well, je suis bien sûr, je suis français, je suis en France. Je suis en France. Thanks, you know, watch out behind the trees. The coyotes will come after us. All right. So I'm going to teach you some words. You know? What kind of words? I don't know. Well, first of all, you know, you go like, when you meet somebody, what are you gonna say to them? So it's the middle of the day, you walk up to them and be like, Bonjour. 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 <laughs> Comment vas-tu? Why well, you have to go slower? Comment uh -huh. vas-tu? Comment vas-tu? Ouais. Bonjour, comment vas-tu? And that means? Hi. How are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Okay. Bonjour, comment vas-tu? Bonjour, comment vas-tu? Okay. Am I doing and, good? And you answer, ça va bien. Uh, donc tu dis bonjour. 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 Comment ça va? Uh, Comment te vas-tu? <laughs> what is it again, my friend? Comment vas-tu? Comment vas-tu? Mm -hmm. Ça va bien, et toi? <laughs> ça va bien. I speak fast. Yeah, yeah you do. Like, I do. You split I do. <laughs> you say que tu as beaux yeux, alors ils peuvent te dire, uh, tu as le visage d'un ange, le visage. Ils vont dire comme ça, comme tu as de beaux yeux. Je sais que tu as de beaux yeux, alors ils peuvent te dire. So you really made this? Yes. Did you learn how to do this? Myself. You just... I just did one day. I just picked up a piece of foil and I was like, what can I do with this? You know? Mm -hmm. I got tired of making little ducks for people. You can make a little ducks? 
Chinese restaurants? Yeah, you know, they give you these stupid little swans. been dating someone or something and then you break up like have you ever cried yeah you I've, cried yeah well that's sweet you know why not i'm not afraid like i'm not one of those guys gonna be like whoa you know all these wussies like cry mm -hmm. no i you know i'm not big macho men have feelings too yeah exactly mm -hmm. you know this is just boys get a heart mm -hmm. and i'm not scared like to show it it's just who i am and it's just how it is yeah. is it because you're french no. I think Americans don't understand. Male Americans don't understand. The French boys. Yeah. Some of the French boys yes. are, are the same way, you know? Mm. Sometimes, like, in, like in the past, like, relationships and stuff, sometimes, yeah, you get really hurt because you... Like, I involved myself, like, so much to them, you know, and, like, fought, like, so much about a person that it hurts. <laughs> Yes. Um, what are the origins of the French kiss? Why is it called the French kiss? I don't know. You know, maybe the, some Americans sometime one day thought that the French kiss better. So maybe that's how it was, but I don't know. Doesn't really have, I don't know, anything. We don't call it the French kiss. <laughs> you know, we just call it kissing. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, like, when you meet, so when you see someone, one of your friends, you'll, when you say hi, you give them a kiss on the cheek. La, la. Looks like French-American relations are heating up, but are they hot enough for a second date? Tracy and Pepe Le Pew will break it down for us when we come back. Up next. What do you think about this metrosexual thing? Can a guy be too well-groomed? Do you hang out with girls or do you only hang out with guys? That's next. Someone or something, and then you break up. Like, have you ever cried? Yeah. You I've, cried? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. You know, why not? I'm not afraid. Like, I'm not one of those guys gonna be like, whoa, you know, all these wussies like cry. Relax, Pepe. You had her at Bonjour. And if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. Chicks dig the Frenchies. I thought he was a good looking guy. I was really attracted to Tracy, you know, she was uh, she was very cute. I was very intrigued by the fact that Steve grew up in France and that he spoke French. It's kind of sexy, kind of romantic. I would love the opportunity to uh, show Tracy, you know, the real friends. He's a sensitive guy and I respect that about him. The kiss with Tracy was uh, very nice and sweet. There will be a second date with Steve. Tracy is like more of a type of girl that I'm looking for. Well, there you have it, guys. If you want to hook up, get out there and parlez-vous. All right, now let's move on and meet potential lovebirds Amber and Scott. Now, Amber's from Manhattan, 
and says she has a taste for fine art, fine wine, and fine men. Well, her date Scott's an exercise fanatic with the ultimate player's card. The man's a doctor. I'm always on call. I like to be with a man who's you know, macho and uh, intelligent and uh, successful rather than good looking. I'm very good at grooming. What I do is I shave my whole body head to toe. I like hair. I, hair is fine, hair is good, hair is sexy. My rotation is fairly deep. Uh, it's between five and seven ladies at any one given time. No sex on the first date. I would never uh, have a second date with a lady who I've slept with on the first date. I like to be the prettier one in a relationship. I don't think she has anything to worry about here. Although it's close. Good luck, guys. What kind of job? <laughs> what is your job? I job? actually I work in Jersey City. I um, I'm a construction project manager at a university. Really? And, yeah, I'm trained as an architect. So like, if you lived in Jersey City, you wouldn't be as cool unless you lived in the city. Right? Um, well, you know, my social life is in New York. My job is in Jersey City right now, mm -hmm. but that can change. How old are you? I know. I was just gonna ask you. I'm 28. I'm 20. Okay, I'm 29. So old. Then make it. I was just kidding. Nah, you don't, you don't even look at like 22 on that camera. Well, thank you. It's good. This isn't good. The guy just gave me the finger. Whatever. Um. Looks like a good place. How about here? The Monkey Royale. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Gary Brodsky. I'm a dating coach and. Uh... Author of books on how to date. Hey, yeah. GB. Hey, What's Scott, going on, buddy? Going? Good, good. You're dating coach. Absolutely. Okay. And I think you need some help right there. I think you need a little help too, okay? Really? And so far, Scott looks like he's doing okay. He's got the wind tunnel tested hairdo. Because I'm a guy, I'm on your side no matter what. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pretend I'm, I'm on her side. They fall for it. You're women, a good guy. I am. Really I'm going to tell guy. you how to get into her pants as quickly as possible. How do I do it? Like this? Um, that, you got, she's gonna slap you. But she's smiling, you gotta look at the eyes. You gotta remember the eye contact that I talked to before. And never, ever complain. No. No, if it's really hot out, never. if it's a thousand degrees out, it's like, hey, it's great out. Shows you strong. Women are attracted by strength. Are women allowed to complain? I think women have a license to complain, okay? okay. I think <laughs> it comes with birthright. Oh, man. If you were a woman that didn't complain, we would make you queen, okay? Gary, how long is this session gonna be? Already he's complaining. Already he's complaining. I, what did I just say? Hard, Not complaining. It's too hot in here. It's even there. Gary. He's sounding like a woman. You can't. You gotta sound like a man. It's like who gives a crap what time it is, how hot it is in here. Right. I'm having fun. That guy was so annoying. Bronze. That's all I have to say. I learned Period. The really? end. Yeah. Did you just say you learned a couple? <laughs> What do you think about this metrosexual thing? Ooh. It's it's like a Euro trash thing. That's just Euro like, trash? It's totally Euro, the Euro trash mentality. Very like LA. It's like queer eye for the straight guys type of mentality. Males who like to be well groomed. Don't have any hair. Oh look at that. I don't I, well it's coming back. I don't know about you, but I have an issue with hair, body hair. And uh I spoke about this earlier. It's growing in, but I don't like hair anymore. You have an issue with your own body hair? Did you and see other this? People's? I don't have any hair on my legs, even. Uh, yes, another round? Did you see my leg? 
I don't have any hair anywhere. Why? Hair. It's weird. It's, it, it makes me stress. It's in some shit. If I have any, I don't have a lot, but I do buzz it off. Can I look? Yeah. So we're talking about metrosexuals. So it starts off with a little bit of that, and then it goes to going to the salon to get your hair done, or cut, colored, facials, waxing, pedicures, yeah. manicures, breast implants, <laughs> liposuction, yes. facelift, you know, permanent makeup. Yes, you're absolutely right. It you starts can, somewhere. You can do the I, whole gamut and then... No, I agree with that. We can definitely hang out again. Would we go on another date with each other romantically? Who knows? I mean, we could go as, like, friends. We could hang out. Maybe I have a friend that you or one of your friends would get along with. Sounds like, sounds like an opportunity. You hang out with um, girls, or do you only hang out with guys, or...? No, fem female population, I swing towards that side. Yeah. This is it. Call me crazy, guys, but I don't think discussing your body shaving habits is going to get your girl all hot and bothered. But it will lead to her hammering you in our post day wrap up, which is next. Coming up. She's a nice guy. Such a nice guy. That's going to kill you. Life lessons from the love doctor. Nice guys, you know where they wind up? Divorce court. The cutting room floor is coming up. about this metrosexual thing. So it starts off with a little bit of that, and then it goes to going to the salon to get your hair done, or cut, colored, breast implants, <laughs> liposuction. Yes. Yeah, and before you know it, you're hosting American Idol. Needless to say, Dr. Scotty here won't be making any house calls on Amber. I think I'm just not attracted to Scott sexually. She kind of got the feeling that I was a one-night stand type of guy, but I'm just a doctor looking for a good time. The men I'm most attracted to are intelligent, but they also have a certain edge, which Scott doesn't have. Unfortunately, I didn't get close to Amber tonight, but I will definitely get close to my razor tonight. I think I might have a friend he might like to date, but I don't think it's me. A second serious date, I don't think I would have, but I will make a booty call. Well, apparently someone's made the wrong diagnosis. That's a tough break. But we're not through with the good doctor just yet. When we come back, two doctors are better than one. It's off our cutting room floor next. You are the guy. Get off my stage. Welcome back. Now, we just watched Amber and Scott get some advice from a dating expert named Gary. So we thought it'd be fun to get more words of wisdom from the one and only Doctor of Love. Yeah! You gotta be a You wanna get a you gotta be That's the rule today. Yeah. Don't be nice too guy. nice. You're too ni see, you're a nice guy. I'm such a nice guy. That's gonna kill you, okay? Oh, yeah, right. Nice guys, you know where they wind up? Divorce court in the street, sleeping in their brother-in-law's basement. Wanna how to lose one real quick? How? If something should happen to you, and you see like the end coming and possible financial trouble, just tell her, you know your ass is getting fat? You will never uh, see her again. Uh, and one more point, don't right. ever criticize a woman. Oh, because never. then you're gonna go down to an effeminate level of yeah. bad. So don't this criticize her, no matter what she does. She's having sex with the guy next to the table, no big deal. Don't get jealous, jealousy is a sign of weakness. Right. It's a sign that you believe in limitations, who cares? Yeah, that's right. The man. Yeah. Wow. Suddenly, Dr. Ruth is looking pretty hot. All right, that'll do it for today's show. I'm Roger Lodge. Thanks for watching.